Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sitting in my car right now. It's raining, it's windy, and I'm meeting up with Mac Tartwood. I haven't met him since June, I think it was, when we went to the uh, prepper meet. So it's gonna be a nice little catch up today. A few little shenanigans in the woods. There's only myself and Mac attending. I'm only out for the day, so, um, uh, stay tuned for another exciting video. I've got a bit of cooking to do, um, as usual. You know, doing a bit of cooking, you know, mixing it up a bit. And uh, yeah, just having just have a nice general catch up and um, and just some general videoing, really. So stay tuned for another exciting video, folks. <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, folks. So we're uh, we're in the uh, we're in the woods right now. Myself, Mr. Tightwad. And uh, the main man, the main, the main man, you are human. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're out just for uh, just for uh, a day visit, as usual. It's very over compared to last weekend, it's uh, yeah, windy, but it's you know, it's dry. We ain't got no wet stuff right now, so that's good. Um, poncho set up, doing a bit of cooking and such like, and um, stay tuned. As I say, for an exciting video, I hope.
clean it off.
Hi folks, how's it going? We're going to continue on with the old cooking and um, I've taken another uh, recipe from the Ray Mears book. So I'm going to be making some uh, kebabs um, using mushrooms and peppers and then cooking them on skewers on the fire. Um, what I've done first of all is I've selected some, um, some hazel, some green hazel and then what I've done I've basically made them into like a triangular form so the um, the veg that I put onto the skewer isn't going to um, isn't going to obviously twist and such like on the stick I've got two of those um, I've also got a couple of fork sticks which I'm going to use to obviously put in the ground and finally uh, I've got two little anchor points to obviously attach them to stop them from tipping over um, I'm using uh, a foil tray as you would have seen in the previous video um, literally because we're in a pine forest there's a lot of pine needles on the floor and we, I want to avoid um, obviously sort of scorching the ground so I've got three lengths of hazel underneath the tray and um, and obviously I've built the actual name of these is uh, Brigand Steak I don't know if I've pronounced it right so it's B-R-I-G-A-N-D 
and um, basically it's something that you might use when you're in a canoeing trip or something like that. So you want some pepperoni, obviously because it's going to keep quite a long time because of the fat that's in it. So I'm literally just cutting up some, um, some nice chunky bits of pepperoni and I'll stick them in my uh, stick them in my little kapilka bowl and then I'll cut up the rest of the uh, the salami if you like to add to the uh, to add to the skewers right so as I say for this I'm using um, some pepper uh, pepper pepperoni kind of salami sort of uh, meat sausage I've got some chestnut mushrooms and then I've got some nice orange peppers to add to it as well so it's getting nice and chopped up uh, let's keep them quite thick so they can go on the skewers so I've cut them quite a reasonable thickness I suppose you can have them at any sort of thickness you desire see the, uh, the peppers which I've used orange I've used an orange pepper that my wife kindly donated to the cold I do like a pepper very juicy I don't mind any green red or orange some people prefer the different sort of colours but I don't mind I love them mm -hmm. Cut the way off. right so what we're going to do now is just add our peppers onto the uh, stick oh that's split there have that one as is Probably could have with the mushrooms. I think I should have made them a bit thinner actually. It's sort of splitting the mushroom up, but that's note to self. I'll do it with the other skewer. I'll put them on the other skewer. So I'll put peppers on this one with the uh, salami. Only one more bit of pepper, and then there we go. Love to put the fork stick in there and push it into the ground. We'll put that over there, like so. And then, as I say, I've got a little anchor stick now that I'm just going to push in the ground just so that it takes the weight of the uh, takes the weight of the of the uh, pepper of the salami and and the peppers obviously a little bit more difficult because I'm working out of a tray rather than um, rather than just ground fire right, so here we go then I've made the uh, stick a bit thinner nope it's split another one <laughs> let's try that let's see what what if we do it lengthways nope No, obviously I never make a proper chef, would I? Kitchen chef. That's uh, split that one too. Oh my god, I've only managed to get one on there so far. No, it's splitting them all. Uh, not entirely sure why. Well, I've thinned the stick down even further. And then what I've done is I used the gap in the mushroom as well. So, uh, all part of the learning curve, as if someone such as myself, especially with stuff like this. 
but we've got loads of spare pepperoni uh, mushrooms just bring that down a bit more anyway so there we have it so kebabs now over the over the embers and we'll let them just cook slowly at least I've got the option now to spin them as well oh <laughs> one of my mushrooms has just come off I'll take that off no worries so I try to actually bring out my ingredients um, I've been using um, one of these tins that I picked up from possibly Aldi's and um, they're a really nice strong sturdy tin you know they, they're, they're around 4 you know five pound and uh, great storage tin and also great just for such as for this example obviously bringing out ingredients excuse me for uh, for today's cook up so uh, very sturdy you know you could even use them for a survival kit or whatever but for me right now they're kind of storage tins inside my vehicle um, cooking kit and um, or for just carry carrying um, transporting some uh, ingredients for uh, for a day trip up the woods Right, so now I've got the kebabs. The kebabs are on the go, and I've got some uh, bread on a stick, a bit of bannock. So uh, it's obviously a little bit more difficult doing it on a tray than it would be sort of doing on a ground fire. But we're getting there. You know what I mean? It's still it, it's working. You know what I mean? So I'm quite impressed with it. So for Baldrick, get away! Baldrick was just going to nick. Baldrick was about to nick me stick with a bannock on it. So there it is folks, there's me, uh, me kebabs are done. I had to put a little bit more wood on the fire and unfortunately the flames flicked up and caught the bannock. So I've got a little bit of uh, blackness on the bannock but I'm not fussed about that as long as the middle's cooked, which it feels like it is, I'm chuffed with that. So that can come off the stick. Great, because it would just save me loads of washing up to do. And, uh, and the kebabs. Oh, lovely. So, brigand or brigand steak without any steak. I suppose you could do steak, but uh, yeah.
Oh, I'm going to have to sort that stick out a bit. Just take that off now. So what I failed to mention as well is that in the book, you see it on Ray's book, it says about um, kebabbing a um, apple. So basically uh, you can see the, the apple skin there looks almost rotten, but, um, but yeah, it's starting to cook quite well actually. And, um, lovely jubbly, that's cooking through quite nice. That'll be quite a nice juicy little dessert. No after eating the um, the bannock and the uh, kebabs. It's a bit of a natty idea really, but as you probably know, I'm starting to carry around this little hook with a length of um, paracord attached to it. And I suppose if you're coming out just for the day on your own, oh, you can use it over the weekend, I suppose it don't really matter. But it's kind of quite, a, you know, if you don't want to, if your sort of uh, gear is at a premium, you're trying to remain light and compact and so on and so forth, then maybe you could, maybe this would be an option instead of you carrying pot hangers and such like um, maybe a simple way to do it would be to uh, a bit stick down now is to kind of just make yourself up a little um, hook and uh, and then attach a length of paracord onto it uh, it's probably about uh, maybe three foot of paracord there I suppose and uh, and simple you know you just literally wrap it up Stick it in your pocket, stick it in the top of your rucksack or whatever, you know, it's quite a, a natty little bit of kit to keep. Now, um, what I want to do in Mark with this one is I've been meaning to do it for quite a while, but I've just been, you know, just had other things on. I want to just sort of, you know, paint some little, uh, just do a bit of pography on it or something like that, or even do a bit of carving or whatever, you know, just to make it a little bit more personal. And it's just a, ha as I say, a little handy bit of kit to uh, carry in your kit I suppose you know because obviously you can do, practice a bit of carving at the same time making one and uh, this one was made out of a bit of hazel and uh, yeah so it's nice and simple I suppose and as I say it don't take up no weight no space at all as such right it's a little simple pot hanger Chuck that sludge away now.
Oh, hello folks, so I uh, hope you enjoyed that video. I've um, got another cook, what, cooking one going up as well. Um, did some kebabs um, with peppers, some mushrooms, and uh, some salami or pepperami, whatever. And uh, there it is, so, uh, you know, nice day out. A bit windy, the rain sort of stayed off, which was a, which was a good thing. Okay, um, I'd like to thank Mac Tightwood for inviting us over. Cheers, mate. Good to see you again, sir. As always, and obviously Baldrick. So uh, there it is, folks. All right. So thanks for watching. Um, please take care. Um, don't forget to leave a description. Uh, leave a description. Check out the description to my affiliate page if there's any certain bits of kit that you might want. Um, I'll list in the uh, I'll list below. And um, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do so. I've also got a new run of um, badges. They've, they're, the first lot went pretty well. So um, there's some more in stock if people are interested and, and offering some support. I don't expect any, I, I, as I say, I never, I've never had a Patreon account. I don't intend doing so. And um, if, you're, if you want to show some support that way, show some willing, then purchasing a badge and getting a free sticker, that support me all the way. All right, so uh, cheers, folks. Take care. Stay safe. And Des Kettys will see you on the next video.